Hey fam. So bring you in today to show you what I've done for gardening so far. I don't know anything about gardening. I've never done it before. I just got to the point where I'm not killing the plants inside. A win for me. I started a couple weeks ago. I'm going to show you what I did. I'm gonna show you outside my little porch area where I plan to grow things this year to get my garden started. And most importantly, I'm gonna show you that I didn't kill these seeds. All right, I'm winning. See you in a few. <laughs> Hey guys, Tasha, Mamba Bear, prepping. So I just kind of doing this video last minute. I wanted to just share this with you guys. So I'm getting my seedlings started. I'm a little late in the game for this, but I am starting inside. And my plan is also to stay inside. So as some of you guys already know, we live in an apartment and i just want to see what we can do they say you're not gonna learn if you don't just get your hands dirty literally and just give it a go so that's what your girl's doing i might fail okay but just know i'm here and put myself out there for y'all okay so what i'm doing is i just picked up stuff on amazon i got me a couple um bins i got me one package of these biodegradable uh seedling cups um, they were kind of a pain to pull apart. I will say that um, I was regretting it after I got them But I'm just gonna keep going with it and see how far or how well they do The idea is though is if my seedlings take off and I'm able to replant them I can literally just plant this whole thing and wherever I'm planting them. Okay, so what I'm doing is I only have one bag of seedling um, dirt so the one thing that I was paying attention to, I guess you could say, is the type of dirt that you're using when you're starting seedlings inside or just starting seedlings in general. It's a different type of dirt, okay? So that's what I'm doing. And I only have the two bins. I'm gonna be planting several things. And all I'm doing right now is I'm going to take the cup and I'm filling it about, um, and I, I really don't know what I'm doing, you guys, but I'm filling it about three fourths of the way full of dirt. And I'm getting these all, um, put in to the bins, okay? So what I plan to do today is once I get these all filled, I'm gonna get some water on them because right now it's just the nice fluffy dirt. One option that I did see some channels doing is putting the dirt in say a bin and then um, wetting it and getting it really um, clumpy and moist and starting with that dirt. But what I did was since these cups are biodegradable and I kinda wanna get them going, um, I'm just gonna water this and then um, probably wait a couple hours and then I'll plant my seeds okay so I'll bring you guys back all right all right bye okay guys what I'm doing is let me show you so this whole row is parsley I've already done it so all I'm doing for each row is figuring out what I'm gonna put in there and then I'm just taking a marker the back of it and I'm just poking two holes in each cup Okay, and then I'm gonna open my packet and I'm just gonna pour a little bit of the seeds into my hand. Some of these seeds are super small, so I'm literally just putting a couple in each hole and then just covering up those holes with my finger. Couple couple. I think I'm doing cucumber right now. Get it in the hole. Okay. Oh, that was actually dill. I said cucumber. So I'm actually putting the rest of those in there. And then I'm just going to cover the rest of these up. These holes. Okay, and then I'm just taking one of my sticks that came with the cups, but you could use anything, and I'm just going to mark what it was. So this was dill. I'm going to mark it dill, so I know dill is in this row right here, just like that. And so I'm going to continue to do that. I'm planting 10 different types of seeds today. All right, you guys. I'll see you when it starts growing. <laughs> Bye.
Okay, you guys, um, welcome back. I am just gonna show you guys my seeds first. So, I grew 10 different types. Um, I had four cups per, okay? So spinach, cilantro, some sweet basil. Look how tiny they are. Some dill, some parsley. So all those are coming out. I grew, I started these actually a week um, ago. So those other blue containers I started two, exactly two weeks ago. And then I ended up picking up this tray from Walmart. So I threw some collards um, in there and some onions, green onions. And you can see the onions have not come out yet. I've actually been keeping these inside. I'm also under some lights. Um, and I just now brought them outside. And then on this side, let's check this out. So we got several tomatoes, all four cups. Now this is what I'll say about these next two. You see they're both peppers. They took forever to pop. These literally have popped in the last like 12 hours, you guys. Um, I thought for sure the peppers were not gonna come up. As you can see, there's one cup here that's still, nope, nothing. Um, but all the other cups have something coming out finally. So maybe they just take a little bit longer. Um, you know, I'm naive to gardening, so I'm not really sure. And then carrots, all four cups have some stuff coming out. And then cucumbers. The cucumbers um, pop the fastest and they're the strongest. Um, they're my little baddies. I love the little cucumbers because they're so strong. And they came out like immediately, like within a couple days, I saw cucumbers. And it really just gave me some confidence. So let me just pan out and show you guys really quick. Um, my setup. So I live in an apartment. What I did was I just put this board that I had, it's just a piece of board, right? I put it between those two chairs to give me a little sturdy workspace. I'm probably going to use this for some garlic, I think. I'm not sure. And then I just have my seeds sitting um, on both those. Now above us, we have a little bit of shade. Now that doesn't really matter because where we live, we don't have a lot of direct sunlight. Um, my sun comes at the very end of the day. So little plants. The other two things I did was um, we had this plant already and in here just a few days ago I planted some lavender. So we'll see. I might bring this in tonight um, and put it under the lights. These LED lights that I put the seeds under just to see if I can get them to pop because um, out here like I said I don't get a lot of sun and it's just not coming out. Okay. All right, so we'll talk about what I plan to do. So I have these grow bags here. Um, they're pretty good size. I got them on Amazon. I got them a while ago. I plan to put potatoes in those. And then right here, you see, um, since I'm in an apartment, they have this weird rule about having stuff straight on the ground because they don't want it to make watermarks and different things like that. This is what I'm gonna do for now, but I am gonna get some metal the metal trays that go under um, and these are just 10 um, three gallon buckets and then what I'm gonna do it's a piece of plastic but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna poke holes in the bottoms of these so that I can use them for grow pots and then I can either put them like that right in just a row and then if something is small um, and isn't taking up a lot of the pot then I think I can stack them up like that as well but we'll see as we go. This is also the area, because you see, I don't have much space. So here's the front door. You know, I do have some space here. Probably was gonna put some sort of shelving, maybe with a trellis, have some stuff growing up it. Some of the stuff that climbs, maybe cucumbers. I need to do more research and see which areas um, or which things need the most sun, because that's the corner. That corner I just showed you guys is where the most um, the most sun, they'll get the most sun when it does pop around our corner. Okay, so super excited. I got this trash can at the container store. I plan on putting dirt in that, my compost, and then we'll go from there. Um, but this is my setup. There's my kid. Say hi. Hi. Um, so I got to get those buckets ready. But really this video is just about, hey, I didn't know what I was doing. I literally got those cups biodegradable cups I probably wouldn't do those again if I had to choose because my cups did start getting some mold on them so that's why I've now moved them outside because my my plants are a little leggy they call it leggy they're pretty weak and then the cups on the outside started molding 
Um, so there needed to be more air and maybe I did a little overwatering as well because I got paranoid. So again, I don't know anything, don't know what I'm doing, but um, you won't know if you don't, if you don't start. Um, I picked that up. That's what I used, some liquid plant food. Again, I just bought random you know, stuff on um, Amazon. So do what you can do. I don't care if you even can get just like a little pot like this and plant something in it, okay? Just plant, you can plant from seeds. Um, I'm also thinking about getting a couple um, like raised beds that are already built from one of the local nurseries and then buying some plants that are already kind of much bigger in the stage, in the growth stage and planting those as well. So we will see and I will keep you guys up to date. Take care. Oh, my God.